Hi, Paul. Well, thank you so much for having me. Um, yeah, so we're both virtual and I just found out that you're virtual as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I got started 10 years ago. I was 25 years old and I had had, you know, a few, maybe five years in, of corporate experience, you know, working at eight to five job. Just and enough, worked, right? Just enough corporate just experience. Enough, <laughs> just enough to go, this is not for me. This yeah. is, there is, there has got to be a better way. This feels like jail. Yes. So um, by the time I had my first daughter, which I had my first at 24 years old. You were young. Um, I was young. It was in, in today's standard. It's, it's like teen pregnancy. I, I should have had a TV show, but um, yeah. So at like, as soon as I had a kid, I was like, this is really hard to have a full-time corporate job and have a one-year-old. <laughs> I got to find something that I can do from home. So I didn't care what that thing was. You could have said you're selling peanuts out of your car. Like I would have done anything. Uh, but it just so happened that my brother was flipping houses. He had just got into house flipping, I think like a year to two years before this moment in my life. Okay. And over some drinks at a barbecue on a Sunday, I was venting about having to go to work and I need, you know, I wish I had a more flexible thing. And he said, you should just do what I do. And I was like, what, what's that? I don't even know what you do, to be quite honest. <laughs> He's like, I flip houses. And I never really watched those shows. I never really cared about house flipping. So um, I never paid that much of attention really to what he was doing. Not, I had no interest in it. Um, I was like on the commercial real estate path. I thought I wanted to be like a commercial real estate investor one day, or I wanted to maybe work like for a big company and be like, you know, high up in the company. That was like my thinking. So I was working in corporate commercial real estate. Gotcha. So um, my brother said, you know, hey, I get to work from home. It's it's awesome. Like, you know, I said, okay, that's you told me enough. How do I how do I sign up for this? So um, he gave me a couple courses. Back then, courses did not come like on these e platforms. Okay. It used to be a binder full of DVDs. Mm -hmm. I still have a bunch of those, by the way. Yes. If you are, you know, someone is old school and is an OG when they've got a binder of DVDs still on their bookshelf. Got that right. Yeah. So and I many, got the, many, many. Yeah. So I got the binder of DVDs and I would listen to these things or not DVDs, CDs, excuse CDs, me. CDs, CD-ROMs, yep. Oh man. I mean, yeah. I'm like, what are those called again? <laughs> the things you would put in your car. Right. Yeah, right. Okay, so they were listen on your drive. Yeah. Yeah, you would listen on your drive. So I would I put I so he gives me a binder of CDs. It's this local house flipper. This guy's so cool. I like immediately had was like I want to meet this guy one day. One day like I am going to meet him and I'm going to tell him he changed my life. So I would listen I listened to that binder of CDs within a week. And I just went to my brother and said, all right, I'm ready. Let's go. How do I do this? Like, like, like up for it. Yeah. I'm pumped. He's like, go do, do what the binder CDs told you to do. I was like, okay. So it was, um, he specialized in direct mail marketing. The guy, his name is Mike Cantu, binder of CDs okay. author. Okay. Mike Cantu, old school guy. And he lives in Huntington beach. Um, so he, he binder CD said, you use this letter. This is what the letter says. You mail it using this kind of envelope with this kind of stamp and you mail it and the sellers call you back. And this is exactly what you say. And I did everything. I used the same font on the letter. That's how like to the T I followed everything he said, use the same font, use the same type of stamp, like everything. And I started mailing letters. Now, back then, this is before they even had the fan, you know, those fancy printers that did handwriting. Yeah. So I hired someone on Craigslist to handwrite letters and I sent them out and I made a bunch of offers and everyone said no. <laughs> <laughs> and I, for four months, had to just trial and error it and figure out why everyone's saying no to me. And Eventually I got a seller to convince, you know, I convinced a seller to sell their house to me in month four. So it took me four months to get my first contract on a house. And that's, uh, that's kind of average actually, believe it or not, three or four months for your first deal is pretty average in that with a direct mail. 
direct mail. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know? And that first deal, I bought it on the last day of the recession. And that house in my hold time went up 10%. So I had 10% just given to me right there. Yep, you <laughs> built an equity there. Awesome, it was great. And we seamlessly flipped it together, my brother and I, we split the profits 50-50. It was like a $65,000 net profit that we split. Nice. It's a good one. So it was, I, I thought, man, this is easy. Like this, this is like, I used to make 50,000 a year in my corporate job. I'm going, I, all I had to do was yeah. like two of these and I can quit Maybe. my job. Yes. Awesome. So I did it again. I kept sending letters. I got this, I swear I got the same deal. Like I got like another, it was a condo. It was in the same part of town. Okay. And I just, it was a rinse and repeat. I did the same thing with my brother. We made the same profit. We split it again. Um, so then I had a whole salary. I had a year salary in my savings account. It, now this whole process took one year to do. Okay. And I, and by the way, I was pregnant at the time. So I had a deadline. I was like, I'm not going back. Like I'm going to take maternity leave and I'm never going back. Like, so I have baby to have number a, two, right? Maybe number two. Maybe number two. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, I'm not going back to that corporate job. Like, it was a year of hustle. Like I was working, I had no, I didn't have much of a social life. I was pregnant. I just worked, worked and worked until I saved and up, you know, got that money, saved it. And then I was able to quit my full-time job. So that was my start to real estate investing, local in my backyard, house flipping. Um, fast forward 10 years, it's been a roller coaster.